Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Thanks for tuning in. Hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, go ahead and smash that subscription button, tap on that notification bell, leave me a like. I appreciate that. Uh, and also drop a comment below. It really helped me out. I'd really appreciate it uh, if the content's helping you. All right, uh, today what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to the very basics, and this will go into our beginner series. We had a request on the channel for uh, just learning about the trim command, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a trim and split. Uh, this should be a fairly short video. Many of you probably already know how to do this, so uh, what we'll do is, uh, first thing we'll do is we'll talk about the trim. Uh, you can uh, just go in here to your quick commands and select them, or you can go down to your uh, command line and type in the command whichever you know or you could do a hotkey uh, uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, select our cutting objects uh, right you, so you could do it from there uh, or you can just go over to your trim which will give you the same thing uh, and then select your cutting object you highlight everything before you do it with trim uh, and then you just click on the items that you want to get rid of so the lines have to be intersecting each other they have to be touching each other or past each other right so we'll just go through here and start uh, oh hit enter uh, and then start clicking the lines that we want to get rid of right so we'll just go around and get rid of these lines here so we have a little star there going on uh, and then we'll just just go ahead and hit right click to click off of it and then of course all these pieces are going to be individually because we split them or trim them uh, and then we're just going to take it uh, join everything together and now we can go ahead and make a little design if we wanted to right we can just use our gumball to make uh, a little item something like that right so you have a little star on a little disc or whatever right so that's uh that's basically really trim the the key to trim is highlighting it right and the difference between trim and split is trim will delete the items split will do exactly what it says split but it will keep both items and when you're trimming you'll uh, get rid of it so we'll just do this one with the trim now this one uh, we can do a couple different ways we'll select everything first it will go to our trim and we'll just delete this side here and then uh we'll right click well, we'll just go ahead and delete this thing. And now we have uh, a closed surface there, right? So I'll right click off of it, then select it and join it together. And now we have a closed poly surface so that we can uh, do whatever we want with that, whatever. <laughs> uh, now, Split is a little bit different. You don't highlight everything, right? Split, uh, you'll just want to, you can select one, that's fine, but just go to your split command. Uh, select the item that you want. Uh, select the item, oh, join, no, wrong one, sorry. Split command right here. We'll select objects to split to split right that will be our ball here and we'll hit enter and we want it split with this plane going right through it right and then we'll hit enter and as you can see it keeps both but now they are separate right and you can also split solids and uh, uh, surfaces right so if we go back to our split command this time we're going to split this we're going to hit enter and we'll uh, our cutting object will be our item which will be that surface that we just split on there right and then hit enter and we can get rid of that and you can take that join that together and now you have a poly surface that you can use for whatever right uh, now what other thing is kind of interesting here is uh i'm going to go and i'm going i have project on and i have uh object snaps on right oh snap sorry uh so i'm going to just grab me a circle and i'm going to lay a circle out here like this and i'm going to take that circle and i'm going to hold down alt and just drag it over here and then i'm going to uh, go ahead and move it just slightly again just to break history uh, and then I'm going to hold down Alt and drag it up to this one and then move it over a little bit to break history uh, again. So I don't want it, them all together, right? And I already broke history on my planes. Uh, so FYI. Now you can see my circles are down at my C plane, but my surface is off my C plane. All right. Now you can do project if you wanted to project to surface. Uh, so project uh, this curve uh hit enter onto the surface here enter uh 
and then enter again and it projects it on there right so you can go to your split command you can take it uh, hit enter and then select your curve that on your surface and then hit enter and you can get rid of it that way uh, or you don't have to do that you can just go to like your top view or whatever and then go to your split command uh, and we'll split uh, we'll split this surface enter with this curve enter and you can see again it'll do the split without it having to be touched uh, on the surface itself right and then trim is is the same thing except this time you select all of it go to your trim command and just trim off whatever you don't want uh, and it'll keep that item right uh, so that's those are very you know I mean pretty basic uh, but very important you'll use this quite often inside Matrix Golden Rhino and Matrix Eight the legacy things here. Now there is one thing that I wanted to talk about because we just made a video about making some kind of uh, using loft and I went ahead and close this off and everything but i want to cap it right so i'll just go to my surface and go to a uh, cap right and then right click this part here did not cap but this one is because this one is not planar uh so it's not going to cap so if you get something that's not capping uh it's probably because it's not planar uh and let's see this one is that no that's the one i want to keep okay so go here go to the second one and delete that one so i keep my original right there right with with the cap on one side uh now it's not capped you know and if i turn on points turn on points maybe can i oh it's not a polyster so let's explode it here real quick uh, and then turn on points because it has to be a, a nerb surface you can see that this one here is back a little farther than this one you can see it's not it's not planar right so that's what's creating our issue that's why it's not capping so i'm going to go ahead and join these back together real quick so they're all one surface but there's a real easy way to get it to be planar uh so that we can you know if it's not i mean there's lots of ways we could do it we could use uh, uh align points and stuff like that uh but the real quick way would be just go grab a line and uh kind of zoom in where you can kind of see where it's going off and just kind of draw a line through there and you can select all that and go to your trim command and then get rid of those pieces uh that you don't want i mean so you can make it planar now so now it's a straight surface right so if i go in there and i go back to my command surface and go to cap now it'll cap it'll give me two items because it's non-parametric uh and then select one find out which one that is uh, that's the open surface so i'll just delete it and now i have my closed surface right here so it's good to go i can do more manipulation on it if i needed to right so that in a nutshell i hope kind of explains trim and split uh very useful commands you will use them all the time for various different things so hopefully that helps and if it does uh, please uh, go ahead and hit that like button and leave me a comment uh, good designing